Hey guys, Sean at Top 5 Fit. I want to go over some different rope variations, battle rope variations, that you can throw into your training. Uh, first thing you're going to need, obviously, is some battle ropes. Just happen to have a pair right here. Now, depending upon what you're actually trying to get out of the exercise, every variation, any variation, nothing's wrong. As long as you're creating waves and the ropes are moving, you're doing okay. Um, your patterns don't have to be perfect. Uh, you don't have to make perfect undulations all the way down to the anchor point of the rope. But the idea is to try to develop some kind of rhythm while you're using them. So why don't we go ahead and start off with a very basic alternating right and left pattern. I try to emphasize keeping the wrist involved so you actually get a smooth wave all the way down. Things you can do just with this movement, pin your elbows closer to your side, focus the work on the bicep and triceps. Get more in the shoulders for bigger movement. Again, keeping the wrist involved. And then, of course, you can make tight controlled another battle rope variation pattern variation in and outs um, a lot of times when I see people doing these in the gym they have a tendency to take one wrist the same wrist over top of the other without changing. Um, whenever I'm working with clients in here or I'm doing them myself, I like to alternate which hand is actually on top. So same pattern, but there'll be a right and a left. Over, under, over, under, over, under. Great for the pecs. The more you focus on the out, Great for the rear delts, rhomboids. All right, another variation are clockwise, counterclockwise rotations. Um, I say either one because ultimately your hands are going in opposition, so one side's going clockwise, the other side's going counterclockwise. But the idea is um, you're, we can go anywhere from a figure eight pattern with that movement or just trying to actually time them up. So let's take a look at that. So starting, I guess, from the ground up. And that's, of course, working one side right to left. Tighter loops, big loops. Next battle rope variation, plank ropes. Um, what we'll go ahead and do is get into a solid plank position. One hand holding both sides of the ropes. And again, the goal is to make nice smooth waves all the way down to the base. Good plank position. Hold. All right, next battle rope variation, hip tosses. One side in each hand, nice and close to the chest. The idea is we're lifting up, slamming to the side, up, and slam to the side. Next, we're going to take a look at power slams. Uh, the count or the, the wave repetition is not necessarily what's important here. It's almost the sound of the rope hitting the ground. 
So the idea is large, great, big movement up overhead. Slam the rope down to the ground. Let's take a look. All right, that about wraps it up for five basic rope variations that you can put into your training. Um, ultimately, this is something that you could really do just about every other day and not worry too much about overuse injuries or irritation in your shoulders and whatnot. Uh, as long as you're you know, putting variety into what you're doing and you're not doing the same patterns every single day, this can be a regular part of your training and feel free to do so. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. If there's any topics you want us to cover, feel free to leave that in the comment box below as well. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.